Welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Jay. In this video, I want to show you how to use the index and the match functions to look out the lowest value and the highest value using the maximum and the minimum functions. So over here, I have a dummy table that I generate using Excel functions. And I have a state column, a revenue column, and as well as the last reporting day column. On column E, I have four questions that I'm trying to answer. So the first question is, I want to figure out uh, which state has the highest revenue and which state has the lowest revenue. And as well as which state has the earliest reporting day and the latest reporting day. So this is pretty useful when you want to uh, figure out if you are looking at like an element or attribute that you want, you want to figure out you know, based on the attribute or, and which item is associated with the attribute. So for example, like for question number one, I'm trying to figure out you know, which state has the highest revenue generate. So we know that being able to figure out the uh, maximum, the highest revenue generate, we can just use the max function. And we'll highlight uh, column B. So from uh, B2 to B18 in my cell range. And I'm going to press F4 to lock the cell range. And enter. So the max function will give us the maximum uh, revenue from my cell range that I highlighted, which in this case in column B, revenue field. And from that point of time, you can just use a uh, match function. And so you can use the, the result that we just generated using the max function as the lookup value from the next parameter, which is the lookup array. Basically, uh, is the column that you want to uh, look at the value that match to your uh, lookup result. So which is going to be from uh, B2 to B18 as well. And my match type will be exact match because we know that the maximum revenue will always match to the, uh, the output of the max function. So we'll type zero or we can type, uh, we'll type zero. And since this is not a lookup function and zero is exact match and enter. And so we get a uh, output of eight. So a meaning that you know, from these uh, cell rings that I highlighted, and my lookup value match to the the number eight items uh, from my list. So which is Nevada. And so uh, last, I'm, I can just use the index uh, function and to return the associate column that I want to extract the uh, outcome from. So it can be either the the last reporting day or of the state name, but in this case, I'm trying to figure out the state name with the highest revenue. So I'm just going to highlight my state name uh, cell range. <clears throat> and so I'm going to press the F4 key to lock my cell range. So so later on, when I copy paste this formula and the table uh, reference doesn't get shipped. And I'm going to enter comma. And so I'm going to enter a close parenthesis to close this formula. And enter. So let's see. So my result tells me that you no, know, the state with the highest revenue is uh, Minnesota. So if we just do a, a sorting uh, based by the number of uh, column E, so go to data and just click on um, uh, Z to A, so large to to the smallest item, and we see that Minnesota indeed has the highest uh, revenue generate. And to find out which state has the lowest revenue. So we can just basically copy this formula and paste over below. And instead of using the uh, max function, we can change that to min function, min, and enter. So this will give us the uh, result organ. And organ has the, indeed has the lowest uh, revenue generate. And so now we know how to work with the uh, min function and the max function in conjunction with the index match functions, we can basically just apply the same logic you know, with the uh, the other two questions. So stay with the earliest reporting date and we'll use the main function. And we'll highlight our reporting day cell range. So from C2 to C18. And I'm going to lock my cell range by pressing F4 and close parenthesis. And then I'm going to I'll use the match function to figure out uh, the row index. Uh, from the reporting dates cell range. 
So my table lookout array will be just basically highlight these uh, the same cell range. Yeah, and four to lock the cell range, zero to for the exact match. And last, I'm going to use the index function uh, to extract the state name. <clears throat> and close parenthesis and enter. Oops, actually, I want to extract the last. Uh, actually, that's right. So Virginia has the uh, earliest reporting date. Yeah, so if I sort this by from the uh, latest to earliest reporting date, and Virginia has the. Actually, yeah, has the earliest reporting dates and with the latest. So I'm going to copy paste this formula. So I'm close these. And so I'm going to change the main function to the max function. And that gives the uh, North Carolina as the latest reporting dates stay. So this is everything I want to cover in this video. And I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you have any question or need some help, feel free to send me an email or leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.